Hello everybody, happy Sunday and welcome to the Hopkinton High School Turf Fields. Tom Nappy here, John Ritz on camera and you are tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller's Girls JV Soccer as today they will take on the Holliston Panthers in what should be a good matchup between two talented teams and we are just about ready to get things started. Standing in the center circle for Holliston is Jenna Quattromoni, and she will get things started off. And we are underway here at the turf fields at Hopkinton High School as Holliston trying to work it into Hiller's territory. Hopkinton will be working left to right across your screen. And that's booted back down by Emily Guarino into the box it goes. And quickly approaching was Jenna Quattromoni, but she was just cut off by Caitlin Graziano. And the Hillers will send it away. A nice day here at the turf fields for some Hillers action. And we have four games on tap today. We start off with JV girls soccer, then we'll have the varsity game. And then we'll have JV and varsity field hockey. Varsity will actually play first. They have the 3.30 game, and then at 5.15 we'll have the JV game. It is a nice 60 degree day here at the turf fields today. The wind as of right now, not too bad, but they do have a reputation here for getting some strong winds as that's booted out of bounds. It'll be Hiller's ball. Kicking it away will be the goaltender. And she'll send it over to her left. Libby Hurl high in net for the Hillers. Along the far side, Holliston contesting, and it's out of bounds. So Holliston will have the futsal to put it back in play. As you probably know, no throw-ins this year. No corner kicks, all part of the COVID rules. Caroline Brady working it up the field along with Quattromoni. Now the Hiller is going to work it towards Holliston territory. Trying to come away with it was Nina Brooks. Brooks in a battle in the center circle with Conaparthy. And here comes the Hillers quickly approaching. And that was off of a Hiller, off of Hayward, into the box. And tripped up is Guarino. Out of bounds it goes. It'll be Hiller's ball. Dangerous situation there. The goaltender came way out and nearly getting by open was Emily Hayward as she inbounds to Sansonetti. Out in front, shot, oh, just over the net goes Kate Finnegan. Good pressure there by the Hillers to start things off. The goaltender will get rid of it. We'll try to get you a number for that Holliston goaltender. Right now it looks like uh, she just has the gray shirt on. Not sure if there's a number in back. And the coach for Holliston, as is Latifi asking for another ball. As he's Latifi, as the head coach. As for the Hillers, head coach Amy Mick. The futsal to get it in play is to Kate Finnegan. And Finnegan will send it out. Along the far side now, try to work it up is Kayla Sawyer. Into the box, and that's wrapped up. Good boot from along the far side there by Jessica Ehrlich. Cincinnati trying to work it upfield. Over to Hayward. Up the near side, quickly approaching Hayward. Getting there first is Pereira does Stay in bounds, and Pereira able to get it over to the goaltender. She 
Boots it away along the near side. Put back upfield by Sansonetti. Trying to find Hayward. Hayward working her way in. In the danger zone, cleared away. Sonoli able to get rid of it. Over to the center circle, here comes Holliston, quickly approaching Quattromoni, she has speed. And a good track down there by the Hillers, able to get there was Sophie Pirelli. Along the near side now. Holliston trying to work it back to the Hillers danger zone. Over to midfield. Towards Nina Brooks, here comes Brooks. Works it up the near side towards Hayward. Hayward puts it back towards Brooks. There to collect was Pereira. Brooks with the steal, and she puts it just wide. Out of play along the far side. And we'll have some substitutions by the Hillers. Out in front towards Brooks. She gets tied up with Sienna Roby. Here comes Brooks. There's a boot, and it's a little wide. Pretty good shot there by Nina Brooks. Goaltender will air this one out. Off of Inga Zhang. Sienna Roby gets it towards the center circle. That's Wave Garvey. Now into the Hillers territory and taking control for the moment is Steph Johnson. She sends it over towards the far side. It's put out of play. Hillers will have the futsal from the far sideline. The kick in. Holliston trying to work it upfield. Sent away by Lily Turingi. Turigny, excuse me. Here comes Brooks, and cutting her off was Caroline Brady for Holliston along the far side. Catching up with the backfield, Ali Sheehan. Sheehan tied up with Garvey, and a play it goes. On the far side, here comes Holliston. We have four seventeen and a half minute quarters for JV, Varsity, of course, 20 minute quarters. Put it into the box and it's wrapped up by Herlehai. There's Mara Shook sending it towards the net. Here comes the Hillers, sent down by Hayward. Over towards Brooks. Brooks working the near sideline. And getting to it is Ali Sheehan as she contests Brooks. Sheehan and Brooks going at it now. And that was sent away into the box it goes. And sent up on a slow roller by Kayla Sawyer and out of play. We'll have a handful of Hiller substitutions.
Sent up the far side. Working it upfield, Champlin. Just kept in play. Some good back and forth here to start this one off. Terigny trying to get to it. Nice cut off there. Sent back by Holliston. Seven minutes left to go here in this first quarter. And Shrika Belladiga works it upfield. Courtney Frazier trying to get to it. Along the near side, Shelby Jones. Holliston trying to attack. Getting in front of Zhang was Sienna Van Buren. And a play goes. Here comes Hopkinton, worked up the sideline by Steph Johnson. Quickly approaching there was Frazier. Nice job getting in the way of Pereira. Along the far side for Hopkinton, that's Champlin. And it's put out of play. And we'll get some substitutions here. Along the far side now. Sent up towards the box, back and forth we go. Good cut off there by Van Buren. Sinoli trying to work it past Van Buren but cannot. Towards the box. Nice keep away by Pereira. Sent back upfield by Holliston. Good footwork on display by Belladega. She'll send it up to Sansonetti. Along the far sideline, trying to catch up with it, Champlin. Over to the box, and it's wrapped up. Down into Hiller's territory. Sent up field by Belladega. And some more substituting by the Hillers during the game. Kate Finnegan and Sophie Pirelli. Along the far side, Hiller's inbound. And set back out. Halston with the entry. Three minutes, 20 seconds and counting left to go in this first quarter. Some good action to start off this game. Some great back and forth by these two teams. Sending it up field was Josie Pereira. Over to the near sideline and out of play. It'll be Hiller's ball. Elstrom Hall sends it in. Finnegan. Sends it over to Sansonetti. Finnegan. Back over to Elstrom Hall now. Finnegan once again. To the far side looking for Pirelli. 
up the sideline just past Beladiga. Out in front of the box, there's a shot by Cincinnati. She sends it rolling and it's wrapped up. Along the near side. And a play goes. We're at the two minute warning of the first quarter. Elstrom Hall sends it in to Finnegan. Finnegan looking for a shot and it's just a little bit wide. Along the near side now. Elstrom Hall trying to work it back up. She was contested by Clea Sonoli. Here comes the Hillers trying to attack once again. Feldman sends it towards the net and it's just wide. Nice shot there. She would have just loved to have that bear a little bit to the left. Sent up the near side off of Roby. Now it's Elstrom Hall working against Burroughs on the far side, sent out off of Kandrew. And we had a lot of Hiller's action for you yesterday here on HCAM. We had boys cross country action Followed by the girls cross country action. The boys collecting a victory against Holliston. The girls falling just short. And then we had boys soccer. Two exciting matchups. Holliston got the best of the Hillers in the JV matchup three to one, but the varsity matchup, very exciting stuff. In the last 10 minutes of the fourth quarter, both teams netted a goal and ended in a one one draw. And is that it for the quarter? Yes, it is. We are through quarter number one at the end of one. It's Hopkinton nothing, Holliston nothing. Second quarter coming up next on HCAM. 17 minutes on the clock, and we are ready for quarter number two of this JV girls soccer matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you on this Beautiful Sunday morning, John Ritz on camera. And a quadruple header of games for you. JV Girls Soccer starts things off. Then at 1 o'clock, we have the varsity game. And then at 3.30, varsity field hockey. And then at 5.15, JV field hockey. So stick around. Alexa Feldman will start things off for the Hillers. Hopkinton working right to left across your screen for the second quarter. Back in Hiller's territory. And Peladiga, a nice effort getting to the ball, but that contact drew the COVID whistle. It will be Hiller's ball. To Cincinnati. Up the near side now towards Pirelli. Got by her. Put out a play off of Holliston. Mara Shook making the move there to keep it away. Hillers had a great attack going in that first quarter. We'll see if it continues on here in the second. Sent up the far side. Catching up with it, Elstrom Hall. Towards midfield, towards Ehrlich. Ehrlich working it down. Over to the corner of the box. And there's a boot, and that's off the side of the net. 
Nice attempt by Courtney Frazier. Sent up field in the direction of Mara Shook. Taylor's trying to establish an attack once again. Nice job working in a lot of traffic by Skanson. We get a whistle here. And it looks like the Hillers are going to have a very good opportunity uh, after that contact whistle. Top of the box will be Steph Johnson. This is almost like a penalty type of shot here, and it goes right off a of Panther. A little trickery attempted there by the Hillers, and that's sent long, airing it out. It was Johnson. Well, she certainly has the leg from the top of the box there. You just wonder if they didn't send Sansonetti in front and have that little delay, could have been a different result. And midfield now. Veronica White trying to get it back down. Here comes Belladiga. Tracking it down, Veronica White in the defensive backfield. Over to Pirelli. Up the near side. And White, a little tripped up there, and that drew a whistle. Hiller's ball. White airs it out. Popped up by Champlin to the box. Kept away for the moment. Hiller's still threatening. And getting tied up was Champlin. Good defensive effort by Holliston. Here comes Burroughs. And a play goes off of Belladiga. That was a nice job by Josie Pereira on the defensive effort for Holliston. Sent to the Hiller's box now, coming way out and wrapping it up is Hurla High. Along the far side, Alstrom Hall. Here comes Holliston. Smith sends it in. Hurla High is there. On the far side. Good pace to this game. And watching uh, the boys' action yesterday and this game so far, it seems like they are getting used to the new rules very quickly. A lot less stoppages so far than we saw in the first week of the season. Well, both teams already with two games under their belt. So as the season goes on, it'll... Just continue to get more and more smooth. There's a shot opportunity just over the net. Goes Emma Champlin, a wide open opportunity. Great pass by Finnegan. And the Hillers will sub out. Hayward, Nina Brooks back into the game. Emily Hayward and Kay Finnegan. The Hillers have had some good opportunities so far this afternoon. Really doing a nice job of putting the pressure on. Sent down by Finnegan. Along the near side, looking for Sawyer. And Sawyer gets a little tied up and it's sent out. It will be Hiller's ball. Nice effort there by the... Uh, Kandrew. And back out it goes. It is still Hiller's ball. 
So the foot's all from the corner, sent out by Sansonetti. Ten and a half minutes left to go here in quarter number two. Scoreless game so far between these two teams. Sake Kolkami coming into the game for Holliston. And we'll get a few new hillers too. Madeline Silva is in there along with Caitlin Graziano. Along the near side. Sent down by Pirelli. Holliston trying to establish some kind of control. Along the far side. Just kept in play. But she is contested by Hayward. Down to Brooks. Hayward trying to get there. Sends it into the box. And it's popped back out. Hiller's still threatening. Ooh, big push there. That'll draw a whistle. It'll be Holliston ball. And Nina Brooks collided with Caroline Brady. Well, there's no, no avo totally avoiding uh, situations like that in this sport. Popped in the air by Finnegan along the far side now. On the sideline, aired out by Van Buren. Bicycle type of kick there by Hayward. Out of bounds it goes. Hiller's ball. Hayward. Along that far side corner. Puts it right into the box. And they're trying for a one-timer there. Still in the danger zone. Turned around. Shot wide to the right goes Brooks. And Brooks on the initial attempt had a one-timer type of shot. Took it right away and it was deflected. Down in that opportunity, just sent a little bit to the right, but great pressure by the Hillers. Hayward will put it in play from the corner. Along the far side and out of play it goes. Hayward. Over to the corner of the box. Sent up towards midfield past Pirelli. Pirelli gets there. Turns it around and it's sent back over by Holliston. Tracking it down, Graziano. Along the near side now. Sent back up by Kandrew. Over towards Van Buren. Slight collision there, but Hayward able to stick with it. Here comes Hayward, look out. Into the box, out in front. Can they get a shot off? No, not that time. Brooks couldn't get it squared up. And a high, heavy boot by Graziano, and it's wrapped up. Aaron it out there. Graziano airs it out once again. Into the box it goes and still in play. That could have been a bad mistake there. Ava St. John was waiting for it to go out of bounds. And it did not, but no harm done for Holliston. Here comes, that's uh, Ella Gone. Here goes Gone. And we'll get a whistle here, a little contact between Gone and Graziano. Hopkinton ball. 5.45 and counting left to go in the second quarter. Turn it 
Terigny works it upfield towards Brooks. Nice job by Brooks, and now approaching Sawyer. Sawyer looking for a shot here. She'll take it. Slow roller picked up. She would uh, like to get a little more air under that one. It's a good setup, though, by Brooks. Along the far side. Into the box, this will draw the keeper out and she'll wrap it up. Just under five minutes left to play in this second quarter. And a play along the far side. Back into the game for the Hillers, Steph Johnson. For Holliston, Emily Guarino and Mara Shook. Hiller's on the entry along the far side. Pirelli trying to work it up. Able to get there, Hayward. Hayward trying to take a boot at it, deflect it off of Brady and out of play. Couple more substitutions, handful for the Hillers. Alexa Feldman, Allie Sheehan, Emma Champlin all into the game. Courtney Frazier also out there. Sent out a play along the end line. It'll be Hollison Ball. Sienna Roby back into the game for Holliston. Along the far side, Jones sends it down. Nice set up there for Van Buren. Van Buren deflects it back and now it's Put back towards midfield by Holliston. Over to the goaltender, and she'll send it over to the far side. A little too much on that one. On the ground, wrapped up. That's pass gone. Here come the Hillers at a play. Champlin was trying to keep it in, but was unable to. It'll be Holliston ball. Sienna Roby on the entry. Holliston trying to establish an attack. Caught up with by Graziano. And she was contested there by Gone. Roby looking for Gone. Back to Roby. And we have a whistle. It'll be Hiller's ball. We are under two minutes left to play here in this first half. Trigny back into the game for Hopkinton. Speaking of her, she'll pass it upfield. Trying to work it through is Feldman. Here comes the Hillers. Champlin 
Over to the box and sends it wide. Well, a little bit rushed there. She had more time than she thought, but she could feel Naya Kandro quickly approaching behind her. Off of Champlin. On the near side, Champlin and Shook tied up. Had a play. And that is going to do it for half number one, quarter number two. At the end of two, we are knotted up at zero apiece in what has been a action-packed JV girls soccer matchup between Hopkinton and Holliston. The third quarter coming up in about five minutes on HCAM. You are watching Hopkinton Hillers JV girls soccer on HCAM Ed and streaming live on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAM TV. We are ready for the third quarter of this JV Girls Soccer Contest between the Holliston Panthers and the Hopkinton Hillers. We're scoreless as we start off the second half. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera. Some Sunday sports action for you here on HCAM. We'll have the Varsity Girls taking on Holliston starting at one. And we'll have Varsity Field Hockey at 3.30, followed by the JV game at 5.15. Quattromoni sends it back. Worked upfield by Brady. Sent over by Belladiga. On the far sideline out of play, Holliston Ball. Hillers trying to work it upfield. Hopkinton working left to right across your screen for this third quarter. Over to Frazier. Good pass up, but popped back down by Pereira. She's done a nice job uh, defensively for Holliston. And we get a contact whistle along the far side. Be Hiller's ball. Pirelli. Upfield she goes. And that's whacked out of bounds by Ava St. John. Along the sideline. Holliston trying to establish an attack. And we get some contact there between Veronica White and Jenna Quattromoni. We do have an update from the boys game taking place at Holliston High School and things not going too well for the Hillers so far today. After one quarter play, Holliston leading four to nothing in the varsity boys game. Cincinnati trying to turn it away. And a play along the near side. Sienna Roby will put it in play. Towards the end line and out. It will be Holliston ball. We'll get it from the corner. Obviously, you don't have the traditional corner kick due to the COVID rules, but we'll have a futsal from the corner. Inga Zhang will take it. Puts it in play. Cincinnati is there. Hiller's trying to work.
working upfield. Here goes Ehrlich. And turned away by Holliston's Ava St. John. Sent up by White, along the near side. Trying to catch up to it is Frazier. She's cut off along the sideline by Kandrew. There's a boot, a little wide there by Alstrom Hall. Thirteen, fifteen, and counting left to go in this third quarter. We remain scoreless in this battle between Holliston and Hopkinton. Good competitive game so far today. Some good footwork there, sends it into the box. It's wrapped up. Nice job by Skanson. A correction, that was actually Steph Johnson. Along the far side now. And tripped up was Mara Shook by Kate Finnegan. That'll draw the whistle. Halston Ball. Caroline Brady will send it down. Into the box, here comes Holliston. Turned away, nice job by Belladiga. And a play it goes. Holliston was approaching with force that time. Mara Shook thought she was gonna be able to get the shot off, but Belladiga says, no you don't. Good footwork there by Finnegan. We get a whistle, contact whistle. Of a free kick by Halston. Cincinnati sends it over towards Olstrom Hall. Back towards Cincinnati. Along the near side, Olstrom Hall. Back down goes Kandrew. Panthers starting to get a little bit of momentum here in this third quarter. Looking for a shot here. Ooh, big body contact there. Collision between Marsh Shook and a Hiller trying to see who it was. But it's a big contact. They're taking a little while to get to their feet after that one. Certainly understandable. And that was just simultaneous contact trying to play the ball. But Holliston is going to have a very nice opportunity from right in front of the box. And this is going to be a penalty type of shot here. It's going to be Marsh Shook taking it. So here we go, penalty shot for Holliston. Shook, just wide. And Earl High will take that for sure. 930 and counting left to go in the third quarter. Back into the game for the Hillers, Lily Terigny and Sienna Van Buren. Hiller's trying to work it out. Ooh boy, big opportunity for Holliston and it's deflected away. Beladiga 
Got in front of the shot attempt by Quattromone. He did draw the contact whistle. And it will go Hiller's way. Along the near side, Halston trying to attack once again. Good keep away by the Hillers. Towards midfield now. Working it up is Feldman. There goes Feldman, leaves it out in front for Frazier. Looking for the shot, it's wide. She wants that one back. Just under eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. And Kaya is in the building. Torosian is here with us. Hey Tom, how are we doing? Good, how are you? Doing great. Figured I'd take Kyle out for a little stroll and come down and see the games. Uh, I guess I'll be taking uh, control at 3 o'clock for field hockey. Absolutely. Uh, I was hoping Kaya would do some color with us today. She could, but she's, <laughs> she only talks the same play all the time. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. <laughs> well, we got a good one here between Hillers and Hollison. Some good back and forth. Hopkinton had a lot of the momentum in the first half, but Holliston, uh with a pretty strong attack in this third quarter so far. Here comes the Hillers, Hayward. Approaching the box, and it's deflected out of bounds off of Kandrew. Yeah, I noticed uh, from watching last week's games, uh, a little different uh, playing in the Hillers. You know, they get that game under their belt where they needed that experience, because uh, no preseason and very, very tough uh, practice schedule, which, uh, was, you know. Yeah, it's definitely been a lot smoother. I feel like in this week, they with the two games under the belt. Yeah, they look they look a little better passing, which is uh, always good to see. And uh, getting to be first see, look at that nice nice planned offense right there on those modified corner kicks. It's off of Van Buren. Holliston will sub in Samantha Smith at the end of the game. Tom, you picked another good winner of a day here today. The wind has uh, cut back a little bit. It's nice and uh, nice, nice and uh, not, not too cold. Nice, cool, uh, brisk morning. Oh, it's beautiful. And, and uh, yesterday it was very nice. Nice warm day after that rain cleared. It was perfect. Yeah, perfect time at time around 9:15, just the time to set up the equipment. Yeah, exactly. Here come the Hillers trying to attack. Rigney's attempt to get into the box was turned away. I'll take this weather uh, all season long. Absolutely. We have a few more weeks to go. And there's a strong boot there off the goaltender and out off the foot of Veronica White. So for another Hopkins corner kick. I want to remind all the folks uh, next week uh, we're in early again. We'll be uh, broadcasting with Cross Country uh, one more time for the last time, right? That's the last beat. Yep. So we have that uh, starting, I believe, around 9, 15, 9, 30. And so we'll bring you the boys and the girls. So two matches there. And then uh, we're back at this field on Saturday, uh, shortly after, doing uh, soccer and field hockey. That's right. A quadruple header on uh, Saturday and Sunday again next week. This is the first of four today. We'll have the varsity game after this, and then varsity field hockey at 3.30, followed by the JV game at 5.15. Sent over by Smith. Towards midfield as we approach four minutes left to go in this third quarter. Along the far side, that's Sawyer. Also trying to turn it around, Quattromoni. Def 
deflected off of Sheehan. Cincinnati puts it upfield along the sideline it goes. Nice touch. Here comes Sawyer. Sawyer airs it out, out in front of the net. And it is put in by the Hillers. Emily Hayward on the goal. It's 1-0 Hopkinton. Fantastic play there. Stop, turns, straight to her uh, strikers right there. Bam. Body control. I mean, of course, that would have been a header if it was regular play. Right. But uh, nice body control and uh, just tapped it in once the uh, goalie committed to a direction. The goal comes with three minutes, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. And, yeah, it was a great job by Hayward playing it off her body and able to settle it right in front and pops it in. So the Hillers draw first blood. Here comes Holliston trying to attack. Catching up with it is Graziano trying to cut off Quattrimoni. Out of play it goes off of Holliston. Cincinnati sent back up the far side. Here goes Sawyer. Kandrew airs it out. Holliston trying to establish an attack. Smith's cut off. Smith sends it over. Approaching the box. Along the near side now, Smith leaves it behind. Van Buren sends it upfield, out of play. Kandrew will put it in. Clock stopped at two minutes with the time kept on the field. Yeah, we've reached that two minute mark here in this third quarter. Over to the far side. Shook catches up with it. Here she comes. Airs it out wide. Well, we've had some great attacks by both teams throughout this game. Hiller's leading one to nothing. As we're in the final moments of quarter number three. Along the near side, out of play off of Holliston. It's off of Smith. Cincinnati tripped up. And Buren. We'll send it up. We tried some trickery there. It looked like Hayward was going to take it instead. Holliston, uh, they got the whistle, just a warning for getting too close. Going to be five yards out on the entry. Over to the corner of the box. Shook trying to catch up with it. It's a chase down. Out of bounds it goes. And that is going to do it for quarter number three. After three, it's the Hillers one. Hollis and nothing. A nice goal by Emily Hayward is the difference in this one. The fourth quarter coming up next on HCAM. We are ready for the fourth quarter. Final 17 minutes of play in this JV matchup. It's been a good one between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers. one nothing lead for the Hillers and Emily Hayward goal in the third quarter with three minutes, 30 seconds left is the difference in this one. Nina Brooks starts things off. Hillers working right to left across your screen for this fourth quarter. Johnson has it stolen away by Roby. 
Out in front, it'll draw a hurl high out. Smart move there, she'll wrap it up. Throws it in to Sansonetti. Sansonetti, nice job along the far sideline. Finnegan. Back and forth we go. Along the near side and out of play off of Kandrew. Sheehan will put it in. Knocked back out off of Roby. Sheehan. Sends it down. Nice pass by Finnegan. Sawyer trying to get to it. Good move there, sends it out, and it's deflected back out of the box. Johnson. Along the near side. Body contact there between Shook and Sheehan. V. Hiller's ball. Sheehan. Aired out. Up the sideline. Catching up with it backfield is Sheehan. Hurl high. Along the far side towards Jones. Wrapped up. Real high, airs it out. Johnson sends it forward. Corner of the box. Deflected away by the defender, Pereira. Cincinnati. Sends it up towards Hayward, and some contact there. 14 minutes left to go in this one. Off of Finnegan. Into the box, and too much on that one from Sawyer. Handful of substitutions for the Hillers. Alexa Feldman, Jordan Astrom Hall, Sophie Pirelli into the game. Along with Courtney Frazier. Allison trying to establish an attack. Feldman puts it to the right. And Hiller's had a good look there. Caroline Brady back into the game for Holliston. Sienna Roby takes a breather. Hiller is in control possession-wise here at the start of the fourth quarter. Only let him play on there despite the contact along the far side, Smith. And to deflect it was Finnegan. Futsal from the far side. For Holliston. Back out of play off of Feldman. Oh, 
Towards midfield. There for Hauser Shook. Here comes the Panthers, Brady. She was cut off by Steph Johnson. Shook plays it off her body. And now here comes Finnegan for the Hillers. Hopkinton working upfield quickly. Over to the near side. Out in front, Finnegan plays it off her body. Trying to get to it. These officials uh, let them play a bit out there. I like it. They're not going to call every uh, ounce of contact, which is good. Let them have some fun. There's a boot just wide off the foot of Alexa Feldman. She was aiming for that top corner there. Just angled it a little too much. Hiller is looking for another opportunity. Feldman sends it rolling, wrapped up. Into Hopkinton territory. Shook. Here she comes. Look out. Sends it rolling, wrapped up by Herlehai. Nice job by Herlehai getting out there quickly as Sonoli was approaching. And that push, that'll draw a whistle. Just under 10 minutes left to go here in this fourth quarter. Hiller's JV tied their other home game this season against Medway last week, one to one. Sent to up the far side. Hiller is establishing good attacks here in this fourth quarter. And off of Frazier it goes out of play. That yeah, was actually out on Holliston. Got a piece of, I believe it was Grace Burgett. So the Hillers will get it from the corner. They have to inbound from the corner the COVID rules into the box. Good defensive effort there by Hollis. And there's a boot. That's deflected. A secondary shot deflected. There's Steph Johnson on the initial shot, followed by Courtney Frazier. Back into the box it goes, and it's turned up field by Josie Pereira and out of play. Well, these Holliston defenders, they've been busy in this fourth quarter. It was a good effort by Inga Zhang and Josie Pereira to turn it away. Hillers will have the futsal from the far sideline. They have to keep those on the ground and nice job there. There goes Terigny out in front. And there's Champlin. Gets it over to Terigny. Opportunity here. There's a shot and a goal. Lily Terigny makes it a two to nothing game. The score comes with 747 left to go in the fourth quarter. You can credit Emma Champlin with the assist. Well, the Hillers kept attacking, attacking, getting opportunity after opportunity, and that was the straw that broke the camel's back for Holliston as they were able to get a nice shot from Turigny after a great feed from Champlin. Holliston try to work it into Hiller's territory. Sent down by Finnegan. Along the far side, out of play, Hiller's ball. Varsity team starting to arrive for our next game. 
Hiller is into the box once again. This will draw the keeper out as Alexa Feldman was trying to sneak through. Along the far side. Quattromoni. And we'll get an offsides here. It'll be Halston ball. There's a strong boot, and that is in. Airing it out and in to make it a two to one game. And Holliston is right back into this contest. That was Caroline Brady with the score. Comes at 5.36 left. Now we saw a lot of opportunities for shots throughout the first three quarters. And now we're starting to see the goals here in the later stages of this game. Into Hiller's territory. Also trying to establish an attack once again into the box. Tracked down by Belladiga. On the far side, Jones sends it up. And Van Buren cut off by Gone as it went out of bounds. That was a smart move by Gone, getting in the path of Van Buren so she couldn't keep it in play. Then you get the futsal. Sent up by Finnegan. Off of Sheehan. Halston starting to grab some momentum. Along the near side, Shook. Mara Shook looking for a potential shot here. She'll keep it on the ground, sent back out. And sent away by Sheehan. Trying to get out in front of it, Feldman. There goes Feldman, nice job there, but she runs into Pereira. Halston trying to attack once again, Shook. And she'll be cut off that time by Belladiga. Able to put it off of Belladiga and out, but she was already out of bounds once she did so. So the Hillers will be able to clear 327 and counting left to go in this fourth quarter. Hiller's bringing some speed into the game with Cincinnati and Terigny back out there. Veronica White along the far side. Sent up the sideline and out. Couple more substitutions by the Hillers. Emily Hayward, Kayla Sawyer, and Nina Brooks into the game. A two to one match here in this JV battle between Hopkinton and Holliston. And I'd say uh, watching this game, both these teams have very bright futures at the varsity level for sure. On the far sideline, Cincinnati sends it up. Hiller's trying to establish something. On the far side, out of play, Hiller's ball. Cincinnati will put it in. Turns it upfield. And a nice keep away there by Pereira. Back and forth we go. Cincinnati. 
Turn it up towards Hayward. Looks like we got a contact whistle. Holliston ball. We are at the two minute mark in the final stages of what has been a game packed with excitement between these two teams. Really good battle out there today. Hiller has started the scoring off in the third quarter, courtesy of Emily Hayward. 3.30 left to go, and then the Hillers went up 2 to nothing after a goal from Lily Terigny, assisted by Emma Chaplin. And then Holliston struck back shortly later, courtesy of Caroline Brady. It was just about two minutes later after that goal at the 7.47 mark by the Hillers, Holliston struck back. Cincinnati sends it upfield. Here comes the Hillers trying to approach the box. Sent over. Cincinnati trying to get there. She was cut off. Still in play. And it is going to be put up the far side by Halston. I'll tell you, Josie Pereira has done a tremendous job at defending the box for Halston. Out in front, Pereira keeps it out once again. Set down by Sheehan. Back to midfield we go. Turned up by Garvey. Strong boot by Jones. Out in front, Brooks. Brooks trying to air it out. We'll get a whistle. And that is going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers will come away with the 2-1 to one win over the Holliston Panthers. Strong performance by both teams. A highly entertaining game and a great win by this Hopkinton Hillers JV group who netted both goals in the second half. Holliston responded, but the Hillers held strong. You got a nice attack going to wrap up the 2-1 to one victory over the Holliston Panthers. We have the varsity game coming up in just moments. And then, of course, we'll have varsity uh, JV field hockey as well. But in our first contest of the day, the Hopkinton Hillers JV girls defeat Holliston 2-1. to one. John Ritz on camera. I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for watching HCAM, and we'll talk to you for the varsity game in just a few minutes.